where should you write your python code and what's the best tool to start with if you are confused in between ide text editor online platforms or even mobile apps then don't worry because in this video we are going to explore all the options that are possible for you and i will help you to make the right decision so you are very beginner in python right and you have just installed python software into your system right and those who are online check your status and now let me tell you if you are just starting with python you might not know that you actually have several ways to write and run python code each option has its own advantages depending on your level of experience and what you are trying to do here i am going to show you the most common options number 1 ides it means integrated development environment number 2 text editors number 3 online compilers and interpreters then number 4 cloud based platforms like jupyter notebook google colab and more number 5 command line interface like terminals and shells and number 6 mobile app for python and now we are going to explore each of these options so first explore ide an ide or an integrated development environment It's a complete package that allows you to write, run, debug and manage your code in single place. It comes with built-in text editor, a terminal for running code, debugging to find errors and sometimes even tools for managing your files and virtual environments. IDE are the best used when you want all-in-one solution, especially if you are working on large projects or learning to build full applications they are great for beginners too as long as the interface is beginner friendly some of the most popular ides for python they are idle idle which comes pre installed with python and it is very simple thony which is great for students and absolute beginner pycharm community editor which offers intelligent code suggestions and error detection vs code which is lightweight fast and has much useful extensions and spider which is often used in scientific and engineering applications these are few examples of ide there are much more ides available online you can explore any of them now based on this there is quick question for all of you you all just write in your books and you supposed to answer me into the comment section the question is this which of the following best describes an ide in python programming a lightweight text editor used only for writing python code a command line interface for executing python code a complete package that allows you to write run debug and manage python code in one place an online compiler used only for testing short python programs so think over it whatever we have studied and then select your answer and write in this paper and those who are online write into the comment section the next tool that we are going to talk is text editor a text editor is a lighter tool mainly it is designed to write code without additional features like debugging or direct execution you just write your code and run it separately using the terminal or an interpreter text editors are best when you want a distraction free interface and fast performance especially for small applications and quick edits now let me tell you few of the examples of top text editor for python notepad++ which is a simple and lightweight tool for windows sublime text which is fast and supports many programming languages then atom which is open source and customizable and then we have vs code this works as both text editor and an ide it depends on the extension you have added so this was the quick short information about text editor now i'm going to ask you a quick short question and you supposed to write the answer in comment section and you both supposed to write the answer in your notebooks the question is this 
Which of the following is true about text editor? It includes built-in debugging and execution tool. B. It's mainly used for writing code and requires a terminal to run it. C. It's used only on mobile devices. And D. It replaces the need of an IDE. Think over it, what I've just told about text editors and then write your answer in comment section. Now let's move to the third option that is online compiler or interpreter. Online compiler it's a fantastic option. It allows you to write and run Python code directly to your web browser without installing anything on your computer. They are best for quick practice or for trying out code when you are using shared or public computer. This is also very useful for people who are just starting and don't want to deal with any sort of installation. So if you are watching this video and you are just beginner, then this is one of the best option for you. Now let me tell you some of the most popular online compiler for Python. The first is Replit. This supports project and real time collaboration. Program is. This is very simple and beginner friendly tool. Then Python Anywhere. This is very simple. It will let you write and host small apps. Then the next one is JDoodle. This supports multiple languages and instant code execution. So these are the online text editors. Now after this, there is another powerful option. And this option is also similar to online compiler. And the next option is cloud based platforms. Cloud based platforms are advanced web tools. Well, you can not only write and run Python code, but you can also visualize data, build machine learning models, and even share your notebooks with others. They are heavily used in data science and educational purposes. These platforms are best when you are working on notebooks, data experiments, or collaborating with others. They save your work in cloud and often comes with pre-installed Python libraries. And this is really helpful. Now let me give you example of this cloud-based platform. The first option is Jupyter Notebooks. This is widely used in academics and research. Then Google Colab. This is like Jupyter, but runs on Google Drive and supports free GPU usage. Then one more option is Kaggle Kernels. This is the part of Kaggle data science community and it is great for competitions. So these were some of the examples of cloud based platforms. And now we are going to explore the next option. The next option is command line interface. Command line interface or CLI. This allows you to write Python code in any text editor and run it using commands in terminal or shell. You install Python on your system, then open terminal, write your file and run it using Python commands. CLI is the best when you want full control and understand the Python environment. It's also how professional manages their scripts on servers or on during automation tasks. Few of the examples of common CLS are Windows command prompt, Max terminal, and in Linux shell. Now after this, the next option is mobile app for Python coding. Mobile apps for Python are great when you want to practice coding on your phone or on tablet. They allows you to write and execute code from anywhere, which is perfect for learning on the go. They are best for quick learners, testing coding snippets or completing coding challenges. Now let me give you some of the popular Python coding apps. The first option is PyDroid 3, which is an Android app with offline support. Then Solo Learn, which teaches Python with mini lessons and practice. Then there is Mimo, which offers Python as a part of its interactive coding platform. Then there is Juno, which is a Jupyter Notebook app for iOS. So these are the six options that you have when you start writing Python code. You're supposed to choose one of them. Now let me make it a little bit easier for you to choose. 
if you are just getting started and don't want to install anything on your computer just go with google collab or Replit. they run in the browser and let you focus on learning code if you have already installed python on your computer then idle or thony is a great place to start they are simple clean and designed for beginners then the next stage is if you are confident and you want to build bigger projects and get more control then you can move on the IDEs they are like PyCharm or VS Code they offer professional features that will help you write better and more efficient code if you are in data science you can go with Jupyter or Google Collab if you are the person that loves to learn anytime and anywhere then you can go with mobile apps that is the perfect option for you so these are the few options that I have presented to you that when we have just started learning Python then where we can write and where we can execute Python code. Now in the next video I will walk you through the step by step process of selecting the right platform for writing Python code and that will be based on your learning style, the device you have and the goal you have in your mind. So stay tuned to this channel and do not forget to subscribe if you have found this video useful. So you can click here to jump to the next video.